Hey guys, good morning. Thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for those of you who have been praying for us. I just appreciate it so much. I um, I was thinking today and it's kind of been on my heart, but it was really on my heart for everyone out there as well. You know, I think maybe I'm the only one. We want to control everything. We just think that we can put our hand and control and I always want to try to understand everything because I'm a thinker. So I will overthink it till I can wrap my mind around it. And so, um, you know, that's a good quality and it's a bad quality. It's a blessing and it's a curse. Well, so I got a little quick story. So we were just in this car accident and before we were, we were shopping and I had bought a bunch of Valentine decorations because I love decorating for the holidays and I had went all out for Candyland Christmas so I was like I'm gonna go all out for Valentine's Day so I had bought all of these glass Valentine things very cute by the way well then they were in the trunk and we get in this really bad accident and basically there's broken ribs broken pelvises fractured spines broken noses I mean all this broken stuff but they go in my trunk and they get this Valentine stuff out and none of the glasses broke. It's actually sitting on my mantle right now. Completely weird. It amazes me. And I try to think, well, how did that happen? How did that happen? And, you know, it comes, there's just, it's just weird. It's weird. How can one accident, somebody get a broken bone, but this fragile glass not be broke? It's like life. I mean, these things happen that have no meaning, no rhyme or reason. Not everything in the world is the devil coming against us. Not everything in the world has this great, big, huge meaning. Just sometimes this stuff happens and we don't understand it. And I was just thinking, you know, we want to try to figure it out. But Jesus didn't say that we were going to be able to figure out everything. He didn't give us a three point thing of how to get everything we want in life. He said that he would never leave us or forsake us. It talks about that in Hebrews. I mean, it's our promise that he's there. And not that nothing bad's ever going to happen. Not that we're going to try to figure out every little thing. So I was thinking, I'm not the only one. I just know it was on my heart. Somebody listening is going through something and they want to figure out why. But I'm just saying sometimes we don't know the why. But God is with you. God has never left you and he will never, ever leave you. Even when it's something you don't understand. How can you be so broken? Where is God? He's right there. It's not for us to figure out everything. It's life. It happens. And so that's the encouragement. The encouragement is that he's with us. We don't have to figure it out. Life is so crazy sometimes. Weird things happen. You know, bad things happen. We get broken. And I don't know about you. I know I'm not the only one. So I just wanted to leave you with that encouragement that don't try to figure everything out. Just rest. Rest. I'm here to say peace be with you. Jesus is with you. He's with me. He's in the midst. And we don't have to explain it. We don't have to figure it out. We just have to feel him. Experience the love that he has for you. So I'm going to leave you with that today. Have a great day.